in and you're gonna see people being greeted, this is in the day program, being greeted at the door with uh, a smile and a warm welcome. They're gonna walk into that door and they're gonna smell the aroma of coffee brewing. And that person is gonna be greeted by their peers with a warm smile. You're gonna see folks over here eating breakfast at the table. You may see a couple of ladies over here folding clothes. Um, you're gonna see people engaging in some sort of activity at the table, whether it be completing their craft from the day before. Um, so throughout the day, basically, you're, you're gonna see a lot of laughter, a lot of warm welcomes coming through the door. You're gonna see people engaging in conversation and activities. You're gonna see ladies in the kitchen cooking. You're gonna see them sweeping the floor. You know, and basically, you know, to sum it up, I would, I would hope that we are creating a home for them away from home. Well, James L. West uh, focuses on person-centered care. In other words, individual, we look at the individual as a whole. And we gather a lot of information on that participant before they begin on who they were in the past and whom they are now. That would be like in sports, hobbies, uh, what their occupation was, uh, childhood memories, pets' names, and we gather that information um, to hopefully, you know, provide them with meaningful activities to give them a sense of belonging and purpose in their lives. For example, I have two ladies that come to the day program, and one of them actually believes she's coming to work every day. And there's another lady that believes that she's a volunteer every day. So I would hope that they would go home at the end of the day feeling that they have accomplished some type of purpose. You can't go wrong with music. Uh, that's always good for the soul. And it's always good to see them tapping, a participant tapping their foot or bobbing their head or even getting up and dancing, cutting a rug. Um, the art is amazing of what they can put on paper. The ladies love their tea. They have a, a ladies tea and they love their cooking classes. The gentlemen as well have a social club. They have wood shop. We do a lot. We look at the mind, the body, and the spirit. And so we do a lot of exercise. We do yoga classes for them. Uh, we have devotional time that they do with readings that they can do. Uh, we do a lot of crafts where they're able to look like they accomplished something that day. They're, um, whether it be art therapy, they love music therapy, we do a lot of dancing. Uh, they're there to build relationships with other folks there and um, we do a lot of nature walks throughout the garden. Our ladies love to dig in the dirt. We have ladies that love to do our cooking in the cooking class and we let them go in the kitchen and turn the oven on with, you know, with eyes watching, of course. And they, it's, it's great to see some of the women actually say, no, I'm gonna give a pinch, no, you do a pinch of salt. No, it's a tablespoon of salt. So you see them engaging in that respect, just with cooking. And we have a lot of ladies that like to come and they're folding clothes and they believe that that's their home and those are their, their clothes and they're folding the clothes and sweeping the floor and taking care of their home. So there's a lot of meaningful activities. We look at each person just to see, I call it getting to know their niche and just see what inspires that person and gives them that sense. And once you get that niche, it's smooth sailing. The West Center with the activities that we provide, it gives that individual a sense a purpose and a good sense of well-being. It they feel like they've accomplished something at the end of the day. You know, we have our men's social club, so they can all talk. Um, and even if they don't make sense of what they're talking, they understand what each other is trying to say. You know, they just kind of finish the sentence for them. So they just they just build that bond with each other. We do a lot of things as a group, though, and we also engage in a lot of activities on this side of James L. West. Uh, they go upstairs and they have a lot of music or they celebrate birthday parties. Our folks join in with the West Center residents. 
Jamestown West is different. We've gotten away from old school thinking as far as care for that individual, and we treat the individual as a whole. We treat their mind, their body, mind, and spirit. I recommend James L. West for caregivers because we understand that you need that space between your loved one. We understand that it's a hardship. We understand that you just want to pull your hair out sometimes and you don't know what to do and you feel all alone. Well, you're not alone. We have plenty, plenty of support groups here to help you get through this course of disease with your loved one. And you need that break from them and you need to be able to go out and, and take care of yourself because you're having to take care of them. It's gonna make you sick if you don't.